Hey and fellow Sam Motorshed, this is another episode of Yakuza 4 and in today's episode we've got some crazy stuff to do, so let's keep going. Finally, episodes where I don't run around town do some boring as fuck side quests with no voice acting so I have to read everything. Going, progressing the plot, getting into fights. Epic shit. Maybe we're even gonna fight a boss fight. Actually, I'm pretty sure we are. And it's one crazy fucking boss fight, so let's keep going. I got lots of thumbnails to take. Well, time to get going. Time to get gone indeed, we're in the underground. I don't suppose they hit any keys around here, did they? Somehow, I still have like a lot of keys to find, even though I feel like I've been fucking everywhere. Well, there's a fucking subway going on, that's cool. It reminds me of Grand Theft Auto 4. Grand Theft Auto 4 has so many fucking locations that were hidden like that. Where you could like enter some building and then it would like connect to the subway and you could like run around the fucking subway and it was kind of creepy and shit. You know, I have no idea where the fuck I'm going. It's too heavy for me to lift up. Oh, I see. I thought I found some secret. I don't think this location has been used in uh, Yakuza 3, I don't recall it. No, I totally don't recall this place. I don't think it was, it was used. There was on the, the sub, the basement of Millennium Tower in Yakuza... Kiwami or Kiwami 2? There's one of the first boss fight, which funny enough was one of the... It was like a character who came back from Yakuza Kiwami, even though he was not an important character, but it was like the same guy. And funny enough, he's like the, the boss fight with the most health in the entire franchise. Like out of all the bosses that are like in the main story. Then why would the most health is the, the first boss fight? Well, not the first, but some boss fight at the beginning of Yakuza 2. For some reason. Who the hell are you? Name's Akiyama from Sky Finance, always a pleasure. Kick your ass, Sky Finance, what a lone shark like you doing here. Look, I don't fucking mean to offend, but couldn't care less about punks like you. Midori Kawa, where is he? Huh? What do you want with the boss? No one borrows anything from you without a contract. The fuck you're talking about? I don't have time for this. You have something that belongs to me. Going to give me my registry back and let Kido Chan go, or else? Why don't they give me the registry back? Kido Chan can die. Like hell, we are. How about we bash your damn skull in instead? It would be a whole lot easier if you just return what you borrowed. Let's help yourself, because it's just one of those days. Also, who the fuck are the Satsushiba? Oh fuck, that guy's got a gun. Taser. Gimme. Oh, it's a knife. Yeah, they're packing. Stab a guy. Oh, I'm sorry, oh no. Yoko, oh no, I just had to stab you, bro. It's one of those days where I have to go on a fucking rampage and cut some motherfuckers up, you know? Alright, where's this other weapon? One of those days, I'm having a difficult time, okay? So I cope with it. Cut people up. You know, out of all the. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's one of those. One of those kind of like. You have to go through a whole place and you never quit the fighting mode, so you can kind of. Do fighting moves even though there's nobody around. Fragile door, that's what I have to defeat. Yeah, okay, I don't care, it's just obstacles. For a fragile door, it does take a lot of fucking hits from a baseball bat. Give me the other one. What are you fucking playing baseball on the ground? You know, if baseball was more popular around where I live, there'd be. Oh shit! Wait, I'm on your side. This place is ours, Yakuza ain't welcome. 
Relax, pal. I'm not Yakuza. I'm a money loaner, one who has business with more Dorikawa, the guys that have been hanging out here. Oh, sorry about that. This place used to be our home until the fat Tsushiba came along and kicked us out of the curb. Alright, fucking, I know. If he wants to tag along, I guess that's nice of him. But watch out. Good thing I upgraded my evasion. I do gotcha rolls. Alright, where the fuck are we going? Just th through this place? It's not gonna chicken out on me on the first fight, right? Get this back our home, you filth. Oh shit, proper ass Yakuza members. I'm trying to flood dogs and like agents. They actually use slightly more formidable fighting styles. Is that a fucking epic twirl I did? No Yakuza can stand in my fucking way. Or fucking hoodies. Remember that like side plot going on that in Yakuza Kiwami there were like street gangs we also had to take care of and they were like color coded? Pick up items. He's not dead. Alright. He died. Good for him. What about health and heat? I might save that. Well, it fucking sucks. Heat. Little health boost. Just what I need. In Akiyama's case, little health boost is like all of his health. I want to make for a good weapon. Damn, I wish all this HUD wasn't in the way. It would make for cool thumbnails. Don't worry about this shit too much, do I? Damn it. The call I talk about is like whether my thumbnails look good or not. They look like shit anyway. Wasted a heat move on the guy with like no health. Move. But for my homeless friend, I would have pulled it off. Jesus. Man, stop falling over. I can't hit you when you're down. Come, on, bro. The fuck are you mumbling to yourself when you fucking get back up? Was it that man? I sure wish he just knocked my fucking teeth out that bad. Was it? Was that what you said? You broke my bat, asshole. It cost me a lot of money. I found it on the floor. <laughs> He's running like a fucking wimp. Might have broken something in him. Like, spiritually and physically. Enter. Hmm? Oh crap. How long is this so far? See, it's a good thing I didn't enter this last episode, but because then the last episode would have ended up ridiculously long. Nice. Got yeah, nothing else to say, really. There's just nothing going on. Hmm. Oh, I know. My body kaka kaka son. Kakarashi should still be around here somewhere. He used to be a locksmith. And a locksmith. A door like this would be a... Whatever for him. The only problem is, he's a real yellow belly. A coward. He's probably hiding somewhere around here waiting for all this to blow over. Guess we better go find him. How did you get in here? Who are you? No, what was it? In Police Squad? I mean, Police Squad is worth watching, but like... After I watched Police Squad, I realized, man, they reused a lot of jokes. From police got a naked gun. I think where he is is like he's at the beginning somewhere. Oh, there he is. It's him. This is where you've been holed up. What gives, Kaku-san? Suka-san, you scared the shit out of me almost literally. Hey, you look like you're about to shit yourself. So this guy's name is Suka. Unfortunately. Thankfully, we don't need to fight. 
And just open the fucking door, Mr. Blacksmith. Locksmith. You know, I actually learned lockpicking once. Oh, what the fuck? You're back? It respawned. I just got like a flashback to the Yakuza 7. It's like proper ass fucking dungeons and shit. You go into like sewers and you fight monsters and stuff. I mean, you fight creeps in sewers. And, and I just remember that, man, that game is like a proper RPG and I'm honestly not sure how I will handle recording it because I have not, even though I like the genre, I have never did a let's play of like a JRPG. And I'm honestly not sure whether that would have fared well because all JRPGs, you know, they have turn-based combat most of the time. I could call this game a JRPG, I guess. And picking up bats just slows down my fucking fights. They're kind of slow. Plus, they can't hit when the enemy is down, so that's another issue. Should be safe for you, pal. You got that right. Does good for no match for us. Anyway, I'll go get Kakusan. Be back in a GIF. Well, that was a GIF. We could, could open this one. Hmm. Master of Unlocking. Let me see. I was saying how I, well, I kind of watched lock picking tutorials and shit, and I managed to open one lock by like twiddling with it with two um, wires that I had. And I was like, wow, you can open locks by just doing this bullshit, that's cool. I should have known that. Here you have it. Very nice, thanks. Right, in I go. Oh my god. Yeah, but the problem I have with 7 is that all the dungeons are like that. They're just like sewers and underground. I think, to be precise, there's three different sewers you can go to to kind of farm experience. I think that's like a thing where you can go into sewers and you can keep going deeper. And every like fifth floor, they give you some stuff, like equipment items and shit. And you can reach the the lowest floor. Is like that guy from earlier with the cool mohawk? Oh, I'm sorry. You got finished up by the homeless guy. I better fucking finish that guy somehow. I'm sorry for your knees, but you better not have been holding that giant sofa. You must be very strong, man. You just stood there like all this time. Carrying that shit. Sorry, that wasn't directed at you. Not another one. Oh, come the fuck on, really? At least this time we didn't have to get, get him. And I can imagine me spending a couple of episodes in my Yakuza 7, which, we, you know, we'll get the Yakuza 7 one day. Just going through the dungeon. So I can imagine myself also farming. Damn it, not what I meant. Yeah, that's what I meant. Get rid of this fucking asshole. I think I, my health bar did got bigger. Well, it's not... No match for other characters' health bars who are gonna be like across the screen. Akiyama's like supposed to be the weakest out of all four of them. Here you went the third guy. Actually, my favorite to play as is the third guy. His moveset is just so fucking cool. But I actually f remember finding his chapter kind of underwhelming. Like, his story was just... What the fuck is that? Is that a helmet? Like a giant one? No, it's like a time machine. The hell you doing down here, Gramps? Stop, what are you doing to my precious machine? Fucking... It's Dr. Brown. Why do you care about a broken down piece of junk? Now get the hell out of here, this is our turf. Dr. Mita Mita, you're back too. 
Yeah, I'm back from the future. Fukugawa son, perfect timing. I'm kinda doing a Dr. Brown impression. The dog used to help us back when we lived down here. Mind giving us a hand? Sure, what's one more fight? Hey buddy, I'm tagging in for Dolph Guy. That's Toshiba son waiting for me, so let's make this quick. Cocky dude. I don't give a fuck about your fuck dialogue. Like I said, it's all the same bullshit every single time. Meaningless, pointless. Is a good thing we met Mac? Also, that's cool that we have this homeless guy following us because he is, unironically, big help. See, I did, I did the sweep kick. I have a move like that, but I for some reason was unable to pull it off earlier. Oh, that's the homeless guy. I meant to, I meant to beat the crap out of him. Yeah, so that's Dr. Minamida. And he, well, basically has a Dr. Brown reference. And he has a machine here, which allows you to... I don't know if Yaku's a free head, uh, did it? What the, I think Dr. Minamita wasn't. How was that? Some heat actions, after using it many, many times, I may discover a new additional technique. Oh, that's really cool, actually. What the fuck? How'd you get that idea, Kiyama? Pull off a ridiculous bullshit like that? I think he was in the first game, right? As he's like not a new character. Yeah, so... Yeah, he was. Definitely. Except he was in a different area. He was in this like empty lot. Somewhere. And... Yeah, basically what you can do with his place is he... You can refight boss fights you had before. Except they're modified to be slightly harder. Like, let's say the character rega regenerates health or something like that, so it becomes a lot tougher. My machine might come in handy. If I can actually fix the darn thing. A real lifesaver, by the way, thank you. Glad I could help with some machine you have there. Alright, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Somewhere up there. Let's fucking go! <laughs> oh yeah, I have some... XP to spend. Quick step cancel, I don't know how that works, but... I do have that move. I guess I can go with taunts. I ain't got nothing else to spend my experience on. Now here's the edge door with flames on it. That's the one where the boss fight is. You can tell because the music got all quiet. And there we are in some makeshift office. Kido chain? Akiyama san. Hey, you're good. Real dedication to the job. Midori Kao san, I presume. And I think this is Hatsushiba clan chairman. I don't know what you want with Kido Chan and my registry, but what do you say you give them back? You heard the man, boss? What's it gonna be? <laughs> Yakiyama, was it? I'm afraid you got the wrong idea. Oh, yeah? How you figure? If I do, I guess I'll just leave. You don't lend this shit. You gave it to us. So, you see, you can't ask for it back. That'd just be plain rude. Those who give and take back burn in hell. You don't know that? Why don't you just say so? If I gave it to you, that's different. Damn straight. Glad we're seeing eye to eye. Absolutely. Now I'm gonna ask you to give it back to me. What? Just playing along with your little fucking bullshit. Now give it back before things get fucked up. Before you get fucked up. This guy's a riot. You seriously think you can take us? Not like you defeated all of our men just now and proven to be a badass. But I got a blonde wig. Won't know unless I try, will we? This guy reminds me of a different character, but I cannot fucking... Can't quite tell which character. I definitely know, but hey, why not? I'll send you back to your bitch secretary in a body bag. Oh, now you're fucking dead. You called Hanachan a bitch. Oh, he's got a gun. Well, I've got a... Strong spirit. And a golf club. 
I dodged the bullet, my sense they did talk me something. Stop shooting me. Fucking scammers calling me again, fuck off. Who the fuck calls from a bank or at least pretends to at this late of an hour? I kicked his ass. And learned something. I don't know what the fuck I was doing because I was looking for the fuck was calling me. Oh, it's an upgrade to that move I have where if I use heat next to a wall. I just kick a, the fuck out of a guy. I think I can take you on. I don't know what you ran for, but... Maybe he went to get a bigger gun. See how unfair it is when you're fat, you just have a natural advantage in a fight. It's hard to take you down. And to do these advanced versions of these finishes, you do have to pull off a time, quick time event, so... At least that's an additional challenge, if you want to do these. Fucker, get up! Or whatever, die this way. Oh. Yeah, how double-sided this ridiculous bullshit is. Oh my golf club came back. Feel the heat. I do feel the heat. I pressed all the PlayStation buttons. Power of Sony is with me. Motherfucker ch chopped me up with a chainsaw. I can't believe this. Chainsaws are awful weapons, by the way. They look from, like awful because well they will just tear through flesh but they're fucking god awful at actually fighting someone with and if he does not seem to give a fuck much about my attempt to dodge him whoa that was fucked up I don't even know what I did now that mashing buttons. Now this game is a button master. You can probably get through the fucking around. Turn the chainsaw up. Fucking scary. You're scaring the children. That's what he was gonna be a boss fight. What the fuck? He's just trying to sneak away? Oh, thank you. Oh, Okay, I'm gonna get so relaxed. This fucking psycho with a chainsaw over there. About to get up and cut me in half. Like, I, I was saying how chainsaw is a shitty weapon, but if somebody had a chainsaw and tried to kill me with it, I'd be fucking scared. He could just as easily kill himself by accident with it. But damn it, why'd you have to exit? And I have to read now. I was doing Shibata a favor. He wanted me to help find some bitch named Lily. Oh, she's not a bitch. She's my beloved. Did you just say Lily? Mm. What's Shibata want with her? Hell, if I know her, he looked really pissed when he was talking about her. She is very mysterious. A real femme fatale. Like I said earlier. I mean, fuck off with these fucking tries of trying to scam me, fucking assholes. So I did talk my registry. Yeah, we know she'd come to see you. She came as a client to have her contact and phone your registry. That still doesn't explain why Shibata wants her so badly. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Bet we're out of there. I said Kito Chen and got my registry back. I, I bet my office is back in pure condition. So to put you through all this bullshit. Hmm? Nah, I don't mention it. On Monday, am I right? You know, I'm no good at all. That sentimental crap. Don't know what they're talking about. Besides, it's not like it's your fault. Even Hanachan can stop those guys. Still. Like, I got my registry back and Hanachan got off with that nothing but a little bump to the head. Not like she's bleeding out and probably in a hospital now. right now. Who cares? We're good, alright? Forget about it. Yeah. 
I should probably forget about it. Thanks again. Thanks, mate. Phew, another busy day. I think I'll take a breather back to the office. Better not have some kind of another apocalyptic bullshit going on in there. It's only five minutes left of this episode. See, that it was a good choice not to start this dungeon last episode. I mean, I could have just finished the episode midway through it, but that would have been lame. It would be like, what the fuck, where am I? How did I get here? I haven't watched the last episode fully. I don't know what's going on. That's what you would say. That's what you would have said, and I saved you from it. Saved you from all the confusion. I got back. Today's little chance last day at the club. She has to sell a total of three million in three days. I should drop by and see if she needs any pointers. I, I should? I thought like a cutscene would be triggered here and Hana Chan's missing. Fuck. You know, last episode was actually slightly shorter and I'm not... Hana Chan is missing. I straight up have nothing else to... Oh wait a minute, I have four? I guess I, we're gonna fucking keep those for later, you know? Check it out, I got dodge combo. Quick step. Got another quick step upgrade. Golden Glare. I know these I'm probably never gonna use, but it's like... Well, I might as well fucking have them, right? And at the end, we're gonna have to unlock... These two. This one sounds fucking awesome. Counter Kick sounds like Dragon... Cancel thing. Tiger Punch, what's it called? Tiger Drop? I don't know. Sub stories. We only have the one about fake money. Oh, wait a minute. It told me how many sub stories he has. He has 15. I think every character has 15. So there's 14 out of 15 I did. I guess this is the last one. It seems like it is, but I can't fucking do it now because Kana Chen is gone. That's not Hana Chen, this is Hana Chen. That really sucks. I'm level 16, by the way. I didn't even know this game has levels. But apparently it does. I thought maybe I could trigger like a cutscene if I walk out. I didn't. But you know what? Since we have to go to my club, I, I might as well go by, go back to Millennium Tower. Then I straight up went to my office just to be told I have to go back where I fucking came from. It appears that's exactly what should fucking happen. Is that good game design or? Is that intentionally bad? So it's kind of like a meta commentary on game design or some bullshit like that. I don't fucking know. See you fellas in the next. Is it? Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. See you fellas in the next episode. Bye.